Welcome back to my workshop. Well, actually it's my office, but that's irrelevant. Okay, you may have noticed that this video is in slightly different format. Uh, the reason is the first half of this video is a video I created to send off to Sculpt Fund support team because I had an issue with my laser. Okay, so that's why it appears a bit weird. Uh, and the end of the video shows you the resolution to the problem. Okay, so I hope you watch the video and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and maybe you might even learn something. Okay, here we go. Uh, welcome to my workshop. Now this video is intended for Sculpt Fund support team. Uh, I recently contacted you uh, regarding my Sculpt Fund S9 laser. Uh, just a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I do mainly woodwork, but also obviously laser work when it's working. Uh, also wood turning, here's my lathe here. Uh, I've got a band saw. I've also got a CNC machine here, which I built about five or six years ago. Uh, that's a bit of background about me. Uh, now, the problem I've got is with my laser. It seems to be either missing steps on the X axis um, or completely not working on its X axis at all. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video, this quick video, I'm going to quickly run through the diagnostics I've done to try and find the problem, uh, but I just can't resolve it. So first of all, let's look at my setup, which is my Skullfun S9 laser. All right, as you can see, I've got my Skullfun S9 here. Uh, I believe this is the 5.5 watt version. Uh, at the moment, I've got the some of the wiring disconnected, uh, not disconnected, but not hooked in uh, because I've been checking it out. Uh, I'm using Lightburn software. So what I'll do is I'll quickly set up an experiment uh, and show you exactly what's happening. Okay. So, as I say, I'm using Lightburn software. Okay, and just for your information, it is version 1.4.0.0 from the 26th for the 4th, 2023. Okay, the simple experiment I'm going to do is draw a quick square here, turn on my laser. Okay, laser powers up. Uh, now, all I'm going to do is that quick square, square I'm going to leave at a uh, thousand millimeters per minute and at 10% power because the, the actual fire in of the laser seems to be okay. Okay, so I'll do a quick frame. And the laser has already started juddering. Okay, if I start the program, it does the Y axis, and then the X axis is juddering. Okay. And it's obviously lost position here. You can see probably about 40 or 50 mil. Okay, if I run it again, it goes off in the wrong direction, ends up in a completely different place. X-axis again is juddering. Okay, it's lost its position again. So what I'll do now is I'll turn it off and I'll try substituting my X and Y axis. Okay, let me move you a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna disconnect the laser because obviously we don't need it. Now taking my X axis off and my Y axis off. Okay, connect my X to my Y. So now, the X axis should work okay, but the Y should be wrong. Okay, so now this is my X and this is my Y. Turn the laser back on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply 
jog it. Okay, so now this was my Y and this was my X. So if I now move the X, okay, jada jada. Okay, jada jada. But if I move my Y, okay. So my Y is working okay, but my X is still not working. Okay, so let's substitute in this for this. Let's turn it back, reinstate it as it should be. So I've now reinstated my wiring. Uh, this is my Y, this is my X as it should be. Reconnected the laser just so I can see what's happening. Uh, if I jog it in my Y direction, this way, no problem. Jog it in Y this way, no problem. Jog it X that way. Jog it X that way. Okay. Turn it off and again, swap the wires. Okay, so my controls are now inverted. So I should now be able to turn it on. I should now be able to move this, but not that. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, so this is what it would be my X, but now I can move this. Yeah, that works, and that works. Okay, so the motor is okay. There's no restrictions on the gantry. That moves smoothly. Okay, so inverting the motor wiring moves the error to my other axis. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is look at the motherboard as requested uh, to see if swapping them around that way works on there. But first of all, reinstate these. Uh, before I actually start taking the uh, main board apart, um, I have already substituted the USB cable for another shielded cable. Um, that made absolutely no difference at all. Okay, right. Let me try and take this motherboard apart. Okay, so I now have the board exposed uh, by taking the front cover off. If I turn the power, plug the power in. Okay, and then plug in my USB. Plug the USB into the laptop. Okay, you can see the initialization. USB is powered up, okay. Power on, laser powers up. Okay, let's run that square again. Okay, we can see the laser lamp is lighting here, the laser's on. Okay, that was successful. Okay, I've left it for about 10 minutes now. It all seemed to be working okay. Uh, just gonna give it another try. And now, without having changed anything, there's now lost its X altogether. Okay, X is all still plugged in. 
this is all still plugged in. No X movement. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change here the X and Y on the motherboard. I'm going to swap those round and see if I've got any change that way. Okay, so now as you can see, I've swapped around the X and the Y axis. So the red to blue and blue to red now on here. Let's power it up and we'll see what we've got this time. Okay, so now we have the X axis moving, but nothing on the Y. Okay, um, what can I do? That's all I can do now. Uh, I've swapped over, obviously, on the motor end uh, and also now on the main board end, and it seems like it's the X axis that's the issue. It's not the motors uh, because the fault goes with the, with the wiring. It's not the wiring because if you invert the wiring at the motherboard end, then the problem is still on the X. Okay, I can't go any further with the motherboard because uh, obviously I can't do anything with that. Um, so any suggestions you've got would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I need to get this thing back up and running so I can continue making videos. Uh, I don't know what else I can try at the moment. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. Okay, thank you very much for your, uh, your help with this. Uh, hopefully I'll post this on YouTube so you should be able to watch it, but as a private viewer. Right, so this is the second part of this video. Uh, I've now received from Skull Fun um, a new harness and a new main board. So we'll have a quick look at those. And my plan is now to literally replace these with my original ones and then run exactly the same experiment again to see if it works. Okay, let's have a look, see what I've got. Okay, so what I've been seeing is a new harness. Okay, uh, this end obviously connects to the main board and this end connects to my Y axis, my X axis and the laser. Okay, so it's the main harness as a replacement. Uh, and I've also been sent this, which is a new main board. Okay, uh, let's check this against the original one. Okay, so here we have our new one, and this is the original one. Uh, if we look at them, the architecture is slightly different. Uh, okay, along here we have connectors. They're no longer on this side. Uh, the X and Y connectors seem to be fairly similar, but obviously laid out slightly different. Uh, the components on the board seem different. Uh, this has obviously got a different processor. Uh, main connectors, the switch, uh, the power supply and the USB connection appear to be in the same location. So I'm hoping that's going to fit. Um, yeah, so there's some differences. Now on our new harness, okay, we've just got X and Y here, which should go in these two. And then we've got a red and a blue, which should go in these ones here. Okay, so that's probably one of the reasons why they've sent the new harness. Okay, right, on the back, let's have a quick look. Uh, upside down, so this is the new one, this is the old one. Uh, the old one, hasn't got a number on it, this is a SV 2.0. And this one is a DLC V1.0. Okay, so I'm hoping there's some improvements on this. All right, let's just fit it and see what happens.
Okay, so it's connected now. I haven't powered it up yet. There's been no mention of having to install uh, or update any firmware or anything like that or any software actually in the main board. So I'm hoping I'm going to power it up and it's going to recognize it straight away in Lightburn. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll power it up, see if it recognizes it and then run the same experiment. Okay, here we go. Didn't zero my X and my Y. Okay, power back on. Okay, laser's ready. And frame. X is working. Y is working. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that same cut about 10 times and see what happens. Right, so I've just run that sequence about 10 times. Uh, yeah, it ran fine, it worked fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is box this up and then set up a bit more of an extreme, faster and longer distance uh, experiment and run that and see if that works okay on the X. Okay, it's looking good. All right, let me box this up. Right, so this has now been running for about 20 minutes or so. I'm more than happy with it, it seems fine. Uh, so it was all down to the main board. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you to Scub Fund Support for actually helping me with this problem. Uh, so hopefully now I can get on and do some more lasering. Uh, I hope you found this diagnostic process useful. Uh, it may help you out just in case you've got a problem with your laser. Uh, and the problem was it was juddering in the X direction and it all turned out to be this main board. Okay, right, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.